yes, they may well be a little bit inexperienced, um, but the fact that they have had a good winter uh, against South Africa, where the likes of Denley uh, did reasonably well. Uh, unfortunately, Burns had an injury, but he's done really well before that in Sri Lanka. Um, but then uh, we had uh, a, a hundred from Dom Sibley. So, you know, these guys should feel quite comfortable uh, in the England team right now. Yes, we know it, they're in a little bit inexperienced, uh, but the middle order of Stokes, uh, Butler has played a few test matches now, and he's pretty much a senior part of that team. Um, and again, Oli Post has been involved in the England setup for the last couple of years. Uh, so, look, yes, a little bit inexperienced. They are going to miss Joe Root, who's away from this test match. However, it's just a one-off test match where the guys are going to be, uh, have to just got to dig deep and make sure they do the basics right. Uh, do the West Indies bowler have the upper hand? Look, the conditions do favour, the overhead conditions, sorry, do help the bowlers in the AGS Bowler in England. Um, however, as the game progresses, I know the forecast is quite sunny for the next two, three days. So the game will uh, definitely go in the favour of batsmen as the overhead conditions are going to go away. And I know the wicket at the AGS Bowl is a little bit slower. So um, I think the batsmen, if, they, if one of them can have a good start, they can get stuck in. Hopefully, hopefully, if they can get themselves to maybe a 70 or 100, uh, they will be in a very good position. So it's a big day today. If we do get a full day's cricket today, it's a big day for England uh, to really knock those runs on the board and put the West Indies uh, top order under pressure.